Bloomington, Indiana, home of the Indiana Hoosiers. Memorial Stadium will be jumping in anticipation of what we've got in store today. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Charlotte 49ers, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Indiana Hoosiers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Turner will field it and bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Indiana Hoosiers offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Snap it to the back. And the Hoosiers get the first down. Now, I love when players understand the situations. They understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. The Hoosiers getting set on first and ten. Yeah, you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. They'll line up for a second down play. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, oh, man, am I upset at my offensive line to give up penetration that fast? Man, we blinked and missed it. He barely got the ball and just got destroyed immediately. What a great play. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And you don't want to see this trend continue. Last week, he was sacked four times. The offensive line, this offense as a whole, needs to get in better situations, get rid of the football faster, and not keep getting their quarterback hit. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And he's still running after the move. He gets a block. Oh, he left him grabbing. The speed, the shiftiness, the elusiveness, all on display in that sweet return there. So Charlotte's offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Knocked down at the 29-yard line. Picked up 15 yards on the play, and he's got a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back gets the give. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. The throw. 
And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Gets it out fast. Delivers to contact. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Charlotte! After that, there might be a few extra tackling drills in practice this week. Listen, and when you only got one guy there, it makes it really hard to get to the ground. You need a swarm. Where are my other guys? You got to get one, two, three more guys to the football and make sure you get them on the ground. And the extra point makes it 7 0. A very efficient five play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine yard touchdown run. Returner is going to try to see what he can get. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll go with a direct snap. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run game coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Here on third down. 29 Philly. 29 Philly. The play action fake. Throws to the wide out. Grabbed over the middle. It's Price. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. And the Hoosiers have their offense in high gear. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a ribbon. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Back to throw, it's Rourke. Pocket starts to collapse. And they can't make the connection on third down. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. Time has expired here in the corner, and it's Charlotte on top. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. The kickoff team out there getting set. It bounds through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing a lot. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this. 
Their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Quick pass on the jet motion. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. He wants to throw. Stepping to the right with the catch. It's Mack. Oh, sweet feet. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage, and they've got it on the 22. And the 49ers will snap it on first and 10. They go to the ground, and they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. What a great play by the linebacker. You talk about filling a hole. Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. They'll run it from the gun. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down. Mark. And they're able to get him down, but not before he gets to the 2. It's the 2-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. On the gun the running back has it and he'll take it in touchdown charlotte wow this offense they have a lot of faith in this running back knowing if they get down into this area of the field he can get it done and he can answer the bell two rushing touchdowns already for this offense and the extra point is good and they have an 11 point lead and for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Penn State is running away with things, and it's thanks in large part to an offense that's been firing on all cylinders. They're up 14 over Penn State. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And the Heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. They'll try to find a more productive play this time on second and long from the 14. Dropping back, it's Rourke. Unloads to the wideout. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They'll try the run. And sure, tackling there to keep them from getting to the first down marker. The defense calls the timeout. Their second of the day as they try to get their act together. The Hoosiers line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right there. That's caught. It's Mack. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Now on first down from the 40. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. After the misfire, now on second down.
He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. Across the 25, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Pulls it in. It's Mack. Busts through behind his pad. Touchdown, Niners! And they take it in for six more points. Number three. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. And he made that extra point, the wet turf, no problem at all. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point in the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points for the week of the halftime. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. What a job to lay out and make the catch. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. You've got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment. They've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And the Hoosiers have it with the first and ten. He's going to pass. The freshman able to get home with the sack. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And he's got it counted all the way to 55. Never in doubt. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. That ball scoops through the back of the end zone and it'll be a touchback. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his man. It's Mack. Gets away from one. He's got space. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. He unleashes a long one. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Bloomington. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. 
might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. The 49ers will kick it off to start the second half. The kickoff bounces through the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 25. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. They'll start this third quarter with a run. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard game. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive quarterback. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They'll run it from the gun. Jukes his way for more. That's the 45 on his way. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. How about the blow he delivered in banging his way to the 41? I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Hit as he throws. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They have been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there, but on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Got enough for the first down. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It works so well. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it. Got some room in to the goal line. Touchdown, 49ers! And the beatdown has ensued. Number zero. Well, let's count them up. One, two, three. Three is the magic number for touchdowns. Yeah, it's as easy as ABC. Goodness gracious, he's been getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. I might want to change something up or maybe focus on that guy that's getting the football a lot and scoring. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the score is 28 to 6. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Jacksonville State is ahead in this one. This team plays a fun brand of football there in CUSA, but they're a long way from closing this out. They're up by a field goal over Southern Miss. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here. Guys? And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Got it set up on the outside. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, a, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. Bully ball on third and short. At the 35, he's loose. They finally make the stop at the big run. He's plenty to move those sticks for the first down. 
And they may have caught the defense napping there a little bit, David, maybe expecting pass on that third down, but because of the back's effort now, fresh set it down. And it's so nice to have a guy that you can give the football in these third down situations and feel confident you're going to continue to move these sticks. The Hoosiers have this offense rolling. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Man, this guy is so dynamic, and that's why you want to try to get him the ball as many ways as you can. That time, it's a screen throw, and he had some nice blocks downfield, but with his speed and elusive running ability, this dude is dangerous. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Lasso! Lasso! To the air. It's Rourke. It falls incomplete and will change ends of the field to get things started back up. Time has expired here in the quarter and it's Charlotte on top. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Back on the field after the break and we'll start the quarter here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And the Hoosiers with the first and ten. He'll just keep slinging it. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. And they'll stop him inside the five, but the defense is backed up in the shadow of its own goalpost. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back to its own. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Takes the easy one to the back. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Line getting set on second down. Brown wants to pass. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Uh, look at the pass, pass. Defense. Defense. You just can't hit the quarterback like that. That is a dumb play, and the defender got caught red-handed. You want to be physical with the quarterback, but you can't give up those roughing the passer penalties. It's first and ten. Trying to beat the D deep. And he makes the catch inside the 20. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Huge play puts them in the red zone, and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 15. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. This guy's been running hard all game long in the fourth quarter. Now with that last run, he's now at 99 yards rushing. One more carry away from potentially reaching that 100-yard milestone that all running backs cover. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. The give from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Goodness, that happened fast. 
pass. He was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. Oh, man, adrenaline pumping, heart beating a little faster. There is some intensity on that one. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Okay, they already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Fires into the end zone. And the incomplete pass turns the ball over on down. The first down for the offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. To the air, it's Rourke. Feeling some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Catch in the middle. It's Horton. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. They'll throw it on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down. Solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. He wants to pass it on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Price. They push it out to the 39 after picking up five. The clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Trying to find his man on first down. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And he can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. On fourth down, looking for the completion. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Taking it the other way. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And that's a really good job by the defense. Understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Got his man quickly. Carrying the ball with an edge and hammering his way to the 40. And the 49ers headed quickly to the line. Brown will throw it. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Timeout called by the offense. 24 seconds left on the clock. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He rifles one deep, fires, and picked off. Looking for more room. Ripping through the defense. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Looking to go up top on first down. Catch in the middle, it's green. Timeout called by the offense. A mere 10 seconds to go in the game. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. He's looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. Looking for the end zone. 
And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. And he's down, and this game will end on a turnover. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. You gotta give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.